They come wherever they see the Jew, they come after them. Rabbi Mendel Steiner fears for his life ever since Friday when he says he was threatened in the garment district while walking to work. The guy said, I want to kill you. You're killing my, my kids. The 51-year-old Borough Park man says a Palestinian man chased him and blocked him with his bike. The rabbi says he couldn't find police or security anywhere. Eventually, he found safety inside this Chase Bank. I don't know how the story would have ended if if I wasn't in Chase Bank. Rabbi Steiner then called police and filed a report. He joins a growing number of victims of anti-Semitic harassment linked to the 11-day war between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. While a ceasefire in the Middle East remains in effect, violence around the tri-state continues. Over the weekend in Brooklyn, police say a group of people assaulted two Jewish teens by demanding they yell anti-Semitic statements, and then when the teens refused, they were beat up. During another incident, surveillance images show three teens harassing worshipers at local synagogues before vandalizing a car. Police say at one point they stormed a shul and yelled death threats. Last week, more than two dozen people were arrested on charges, including hate crime assault, after pro-Israel and pro-Palestine demonstrators clashed in Times Square. President Biden condemning the attacks on Twitter, saying in part, it's up to all of us to give hate no safe harbor. Mayor Bill de Blasio says there will be consequences for anyone who commits these crimes. Anti -Semitism has been growing in recent years around the world, we have to stop it. And if there's one place it needs to be stopped once and for all, it's right here in New York City, and we will do that. We will stomp it out. Rabbi Steiner's neighbors demand the federal government step in to investigate and prosecute these criminals under civil rights statutes. We got to bring the security to the city before the stories happen. He urges law enforcement and city leaders to do more to protect others so he can once again feel comfortable walking the streets. I definitely don't feel secured. I am afraid. In the wake of these attacks, more police officers have been dispatched to neighborhoods around the five boroughs. If you have any information, you're being asked to contact police.